What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for joining me for today's video, which you saw the title. It's vegan foods that cause acne and other health problems. So there's actually science that backs up a lot of things that do cause acne, but then there's also foods that aren't backed by science necessarily, like dairy, that's for sure, causes everybody an increase in something in your body called mTOR, which raises the amount of sebum oil that you produce in your face, and sebum oil is what turns into acne pimples, right? So that is unequivocal, but there are certain foods that depending on the person, depending on your reaction to things, can cause acne. Like you probably have heard people say before, when I eat chocolate, I absolutely break out, like every single time. But then other people, <laughs> I mean, they could literally like eat, you know, giant big bars of chocolate and they would never have a breakout ever. So today in this video, I'm gonna go through the different vegan foods that scientifically absolutely cause acne for everybody, or at least an increase in mTORC and a possibility of you having acne. And then the ones that, depending on the person, depending on your you know, genetic profile predisposition to these foods, cause acne as well. So let's just jump right into this list and find out what vegan foods cause acne. All right, now starting off in no particular order, but we are starting off with gluten, so wheat gluten. Everybody knows that a lot of people have issues with this. There's a lot of people who have celiac disease, and there's a lot of people who just have like bloating problems, digestion problems with gluten. For me, being somebody who's been in the acne community for so long and made so many acne videos, in the comment sections, tons of times I've seen people say, I cut gluten out and I saw a huge improvement in my acne. This is one of the ones that isn't uh, unequivocal and everybody in the world has it, but this is one of the ones that, depending on your predisposition, can cause acne for you. So this is one of the things that would be smart to do an elimination diet, and a lot of these, I'm gonna say the same thing, it'd be smart to do an elimination diet where you take this thing out for a week, two weeks, and see if your acne gets better. If it does, then it might be wise for you in the future to eat less and or none of that going forward to make sure that you don't have as much acne. Now number two on the list, you can probably guess which one this is. It's going to be the oh so famous soy, right? Soy is something that most people don't have an issue with. I don't have an issue with. I mean, I feel like I'm like the poster boy for soy. I'm the soy boy poster boy. Uh, I did one time, I did 45 pounds of soy in a single month to check and see if my testosterone went down. It actually didn't, it went up, but that is neither here nor there. My point is to say that some people do have issues with soy. It's not a ton of people, but there are some people who have you know, bloating and digestion issues and some people who massively break out with soy. So that's one of the ones that you definitely have to check out yourself and see if it causes you to have breakouts. Now next up on the list is something that a lot of new vegans really rely heavily on and you know even old vegans you know experienced vegans eat a lot of when they see a new product that they really like or a new fast food company comes out with something that's badass it's vegan meat alternatives or just vegan you know alternative products right so this would be things like the Beyond Burger Impossible Burger you know Daya cheeses uh, the like you know little nuggets and things that like Gardein will make or Morningstar will make it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint exactly what these products you know, have that causes acne because they're all different, right? Some of them are made from wheat gluten and some of them are made from soy. Some of them are made with tons of oils. Some of them are just highly processed with a lot of different things in them. And all of those things can cause acne. If you look at the back of the ingredients of like, for example, I don't know, like a Morningstar Buffalo, uh, you know, sandwich patty, it'll have expeller pressed canola oil. Oil is something that unequivocally scientifically causes acne and an increase in mTORC. But also, like I'm saying, it has a ton of other different ingredients. Depending on the product you're getting, it might also have preservatives, it might also have artificial coloring or sweeteners. All of those things also are known to cause an increase in acne for people. Kind of going along with that last one, oils. So oily food or just pure oil. A lot of people will uh, not be really seasoned with cooking healthy and when they make things, they'll just add oil like crazy. Like for example, when I make hash browns, I barely use anything. I pretty much just do the nonstick spray once on one side, once on the other side. So that's maybe like a sixth of a tablespoon of oil. But you'll see a lot of people make hash browns and they'll start with three tablespoons of oil, throw the hash browns in there, and then once it kind of soaks in, then they'll do another three tablespoons of olive oil. And then on the other side, they have like a tofurkey sausage and then they'll cook that in oil and the tofurkey already has like 22 grams of fat in it. 
all this oil definitely causes acne. This is, again, like I'm saying, covered by the scientific study that shows that it's an increase of mTOR when you increase, when you have a high fat intake and especially a high oil intake. Now, naturally, the next question that comes up is, well, does that mean that I should just cut out fats entirely? And in my opinion, I definitely don't think that you should cut fats out entirely. I know our body needs all the macronutrients, fats, carbs, and proteins. Now, you can debate the ratio that you need them in, but I don't think you should cut any one single uh, macronutrient out. Now, the way that you get your fats in, I think is massively important. And for me, I've seen, you know, increases in acne when I'm eating oily foods, 100%. Whenever I'm eating junky foods that have a ton of oil, I break out. But when I'm eating higher amounts of fat with avocados, nuts, and seeds, I don't tend to break out as much. So I think that's very important to distinguish between. When you're eating your meals, you should definitely include, you know, nuts and seeds and avocados and, and healthy fats and whatnot because you do need to get your omega-3s, you need to get all your omegas in, but you can definitely do it in a healthier and an unhealthier way. Basically, I try to minimize and eat pretty much the smallest amount of oil as possible. I don't, you know, add oils to add extra fats. I try to keep it to the absolute zero. Now, next up is candies. And I, that's kind of just general, but more so sugar. Sugar absolutely increases your mTORC and increases your acne. That's an unequivocal scientific proven thing. So when you're eating lots of sugars, whether that be, you know, your, your vegan ice creams or you're eating vegan candy bars or just vegan candies, vegan chocolates and different vegan candies, like, you know, like Sour Patch and things like that, pure sugar definitely increases your acne. Now, of course, just like the last question, what about sugars that come from fruits? In my experience, sugars that come from fruits are a completely different thing for acne. And there's actual science behind it because sugar that comes from fruits actually has to be digested and broken down in a different way than sucrose, just like table sugar or sugar that's included in candies. The next one, I mentioned it way earlier in the video, but that's chocolates, even cacao nibs, really just anything that comes from the cacao bean. People tend to have allergies when it comes to chocolate. Not tons of people, but that is definitely one of the ones that people definitely do report having issues with. I actually did a poll of 100 people on what causes their acne the most, and a lot of people were saying that chocolate was something that broke them out. And the last one that I have on my list is alcohol. Alcohol is another one of those ones that's scientifically proven to cause acne for everybody, cause an increase in mTORC for everybody at least. And when I say an increase in mTORC, it's important for me to mention that a lot of people will say, well, I can have that and it never causes me acne, so it must not be scientifically proven. Some people don't have enough mTORC to break that line, that little barrier is what I like to call it, where it causes acne. So yeah, maybe you can have a ton of sugar, but you didn't have enough sugar, alcohol, fats to break that line. But some people are riding a lot closer to that line, and when they have even just a little bit of one of these things that increases, you know, high sugar or something, boom, they're right over the line. And so every time they have something, it causes acne. So again, I just want to mention that some of these are backed up by science. There is a video that I made called, uh, finally, the science of acne, and it breaks down all of the things that are scientifically proven to cause acne. You guys can check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. But one thing I do want to add to the end of this video is a, a couple things that can actually help, you know, kind of mitigate your acne, kind of fight against your acne. And that would be number one, veggies. Getting veggies is really, really important because you're getting tons of vitamins, ton of minerals, but also tons of antioxidants. And also, you know, even beyond veggies, things that have tons of antioxidants are very important as well. So that would be like, you know, veggies, fruits, but also things like spices when you're using, um, you know, like chili powder and garlic powder and cayenne and, and turmeric and all these different things when you're cooking, that's really, really good for you. Herbs and spices are massively important as well. And I know it's a little cliche because you've probably heard it a million times, but water. Water is super, super important. It helps you flush out your body. Your body needs a certain amount of water to circulate properly to operate properly and if you don't have enough water you're basically like forcing your body to work with less than you know optimal conditions you know your lymphatic system definitely needs you to be well hydrated for it to move lymph around your body and I also wanted to mention that a lot of these things go hand in hand with healthiness. So even if you're not somebody who necessarily breaks out a lot if you're just someone who breaks out a little bit or you don't break out at all you know, going through this list and actually trying out a lot of these things and seeing how your body reacts to them and then trying to, you know, remove them or eat less of them if they do cause an issue with you isn't, it's a really good idea. Because again, 
everybody is predisposed to being able to digest certain foods better than other people and worse than other people and it's important and I think it's really smart to test out what goes well with your body and what does not agree with your body. So anyways guys, I wanted to go through this video because acne is something that is near and dear to me. I have gone through extremely bad acne. I actually have an entirely separate channel just because acne content really means a lot to me. Being able to help people who were in that position that I was in the past where they're dealing with really, really tough acne, being able to help them not only improve and, and you know clear their acne, but also even beyond that, just working on how they feel, how much acne really affects you, and being able to you know gain confidence and improve your self-esteem, things like that is very, very important to me. I'm very passionate about it. So if you are someone who wants to see more of my acne content, you wanna support me over there, it's Team Acne on YouTube and on Instagram. Of course, I'll put the links in the description below. But I hope this video helps you kind of identify some of the foods that you, know, you can start trying to to do elimination diets with and see how you do when you take out just that thing and you eat other than that you eat the exact same way you always eat but you took out one thing you saw how your body improved or you know didn't improve and then you can you know kind of make choices in the future based off of those results so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know what you thought in the comments below let me know what you know foods and ingredients do not agree with you and which ones do if you enjoy the video give it a big old thumbs up again let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. <laughs>